Hi guys, welcome to my channel. As you saw in the title, I have a massive drugstore haul. So, if you guys have watched my channel very much, you know that I don't have a whole lot of drugstore makeup. I work at Sephora, I get a discount there, so I have access to a lot of really wonderful high-end beauty, but I thought it was high time to check out some drugstore things and kind of get some feedback and see if I if I like it because it's been a while so I'm gonna share some things with you guys and then I'm gonna make videos later about different items to go into more depth and right now I'm just gonna show you everything I got and it's a huge amount I've done some pre swatches on some things that you guys are going to see in this video and upcoming videos so let's just jump right in the first thing I'm gonna show you are these are the wet n wild um, gel lip liners they are $2.99 a piece and so far I am pretty impressed with these I do need to play with them some more to get a full like kind of review or first impression of them but that you will see in an upcoming video so the swatches I have here the very first one is never petal down which is that top color there it's kind of like a really pretty, just really neutral pink. Um, very basic, but very pretty at the same time. The next one is kind of like a burgundy-ish color, and it is called Gone Burgundy. Mm, fitting. So that's the second color there. The next shade is a red, and that is called Red the Seam. And this is more of a just traditional red red, which is really pretty. Next is a really pretty nude, and it is called Bear to Comment, which is this one here. Very pretty, just like a basic nude that you could wear with a lot of different nude lips. Then we have one called Plum Together, a little bit more purple. So you can see that one there, just a really like pretty plum. Uh, I think that would go with several colors as well. So the very last one at the bottom is called Think Flamingos, which is right there really pretty okay so I got all of those on the wet n wild website for $2.99 I also picked up 10 shades of the liquid catsuit also from wet n wild I did go ahead and swatch these as you can see so I'm just gonna grab some and show you which one they are so that is nudie patootie there at the top the next one is rebel rose which is so pretty love that one the next one is nice to fuchsia which is this one here then there is pink really hard give me mocha which is the brown kind of like a warm chocolate brown flame of the game is that really bright pretty like orangey red the next one is berry recognize it's a beautiful color I like berries year-round but that will be really pretty in the winter and fall this one is nudist peach which is like a lighter sh peachy shade the next one is video vixen a really dark one and then the very last is coral corruption which is that really pretty orangey coral at the bottom so I'm gonna continue with the rest of the wet n wild products that I bought I have two of the photo focus foundations I got rose ivory which is the light cool and I got shell ivory which is fair neutral so there you have those. One's just got a little bit more of a pink undertone, which is usually what I need. And the shell, shell ivory looked a little bit yellow in store, so I just decided to get two so that I could make sure I get one. And then I am going to do a video about these two guys as well and give you like a little review and just my thoughts on this foundation. I also picked up the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Color Corrector in the green. I do have a lot of redness, which you know if you've seen any of my Get Ready With Me's or anything like that that um, but it is a cushion and it's a color corrector for redness so I really fell in love with the highlighter and the contour in the mega cushion so I just decided to give the color corrector a chance as well they also had some great deals on their website so I picked up this bundle of the six wet n wild color icon lip glosses they were in a bundle six for six dollars which I thought was crazy um, so you got all six of those colors. I had seen these in, I think, Walgreens, and I had toyed with the idea of getting them. I never did, but for $6, I thought it was well worth it. I mean, a dollar a gloss. I mean, come on. I don't wear glosses all the time, but just having that option to go and pick any one of these up would be really nice. So 
Jackie a la mode is this really light pink one. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. This one I was really tempted to get several times and this one is called Lilac Theater. I'll swatch that right underneath. And they are pretty pigmented too. Like that one's, that one's got some crazy pigment to it. So that's Lilac Theater. This one is called Raised on Good Corals. <laughs> That's cute. So that one is there. Raised on Good Corals. Next one is the reddish one, which is very well red. And it's just like a cherry red. The next one is like a candy pink, and it is called Strawberries and Femme. So there is that one. Love the pigmentation on these. That's crazy good. And the last one is a darker purple and it's called Violet and Furs. So there you go. That's Violet and Furs right there. So those are the six glosses that I picked up. And also from Wet n Wild, I got a couple more things. So at CVS, I picked up just their Mega Liner in Black. Um, pretty straightforward, but I will swatch it for you anyway. Super black. I love that. And believe it or not, I've never tried their liquid liner, so first time for everything. And then I also got these three shades online for $0.99 cent a piece. So I picked up the white. I don't know if these have shades. Oh, yeah, okay. The white is trimmed with lace. The blue is a case of blue. And then I got the pink, which is called Violet Revolution. So it's like a, like a lilac pinky color. So I got all three of those, and I'll swatch them for you really quick. I'm hoping that this white is really, really pigmented white. And it is. Oh, my God. Look at that. That's crazy good. I've been wanting to do, like, some double liner, um, just something really fun, and I needed a good white. So I'll do Violet Revolution. Ooh. These are really pigmented. The last one is a case of blue. So that's a really pretty like periwinkle kind of blue. I can't wait to use these. They look so fun. Um, I like the applicator so far. It seems like it's going to be easy to work with. And the colors, I mean, they are incredibly just like opaque as can be. So pretty. And then one final thing I got that's wet and wild. I placed an order online for the glosses, the lip liners, the mega cushion, and then one of the cat suits that I got. And they actually sent me for free one of the One Step Wonder Gels in a new shade. And it is called Periwinkle of an Eye. And this is a really pretty blue. So that's what it looks like there. And I'll show you guys here. And that is what the shade looks like. So I will definitely try this out. If you guys want to know how that wears or anything like that, just definitely let me know. I'm excited and I thought that was really nice of them. I have to say though, the order took forever to get here it seemed like. And I was like tracking it at FedEx and it literally went from Arizona to Texas to Mississippi and then back to Arizona to Texas to Mississippi to Georgia and then to me in Alabama. So I'm not really sure how it needs to go to Arizona, Texas, and Mississippi twice. Um, maybe it got lost or something. I don't know. But that was a little aggravating. Anyway, if you guys would like an illustration of how long wearing the liquid cat suits are, that is me trying to get them off with a makeup removing wipe. So they are heavy duty. I'm not mad at that at all because I like something that really lasts throughout the day. So let's jump on to, I picked up a few things at TJ Maxx that I just decided to include because I'm always buying them and you guys are probably getting sick of seeing them. But these are all Crim Shop masks that I have not tried yet. So I did pick these up for $4.99. I got a three piece set of the Drink Up Skin Moisturizing Hyaluronic Acid and they are penguins. So I thought that was really cute. I can't wait to wear one. I will definitely post on my Instagram when I wear one of these. 
Uh, next, I also picked up a five pack for $4.99 of the Witch Hazel Infused Face Mask for acne and blackheads, excess oil, and protects against sun damage. So that's Witch Hazel ones. Yay. I picked up a five pack of the, and I think I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing this right. It's Propolis. Propolis. It says it has honey on the box. Um, so it's a five piece set and it reduces signs of aging and appearance of wrinkles, potent source of antioxidants, antiviral, and antimicrobial. So yeah, but I think it says Propolis. I don't know. Uh, I also got a five pack for $4.99 of the pineapple enzyme infused mask. It softens and smooths skin, smoothens skin, hmm. reduces inflammation, brightening, and renewal. So that is that pack for you. And one last one, I got the Crim Shop Egg Infused Face Mask. This is pore tightening, extracts oil for toned, balanced skin, and combats wrinkles. And I just had to get this one. You ever got, have you guys ever seen Gudetama videos on YouTube? If you haven't, look it up. I think it's G-U-D-E-T-A-M-A, -E Gudetama. They're so weird, and when I saw this, I was like, oh, Gudetama, because of the eggs. So, ignore me if you don't know what I'm talking about. I also got two sets of the Kiss Lash Couture Faux Mink Collection. Uh, right now, I have on the style Noir. They are absolutely my new favorites. I picked up another set of the Midnights. When I first got these, I wore them once and then I went to like remove a little bit of the glue from the lash and tore it. Um, I don't know my own strength apparently, so I tore those. So I got another set of the Midnights. I also got a set of the Gala ones, Gala, Gala, however you want to pronounce that. But these are really pretty and fluffy. They are those show you guys if you can see like they have some dimension to them which I like I don't like the lashes that are just like oh they're flat and just one layer I like when they're kind of like separated beautiful I also picked up some Milani products so I picked up two face products I got the prime light face primer it says strobing and pore minimizing and it's oil free so I got that I'm thinking about doing a makeup um, or doing a review using the primer and the setting spray because I got the Make It Last setting spray, Prime, Correct, and Set. So it says 16 hour wear on that. And I think I'd like to use the primer and the setting spray for a look and just see how my makeup does and see if it makes any difference. Maybe that would be a good video to show you guys. I also got two of the Milani powder blushes and I got Tea Rose, which is this really pretty light pink. I've had the Coral Cove for a while and this one, the flower is still pretty much intact and I've used it many times. They are just beautiful. And then I also got Romantic Rose and this one is a little bit browner. That's some Romantic Rose and that's Tea Rose. So hopefully you guys can see the difference and I hope that's not too much of a glare, but they are really pretty. They're a little bit similar, but one more neutral and one more pink. They're just gorgeous too. Who doesn't love these? I have two of the Milani Amore Matte Metallic Lip Creams. I wanted to get a lot more, but I had to cool it on the spending. Um, even though I wanted to get a lot of drugstore products, I had to cool it a little bit. So the first one is Prismatic Touch. So I'll swatch that for you. So that's Prismatic Touch. And then I also got Cinematic Kiss, which is really pretty. And these were actually buy one get one half off at CVS and I think that's still buy one get one half off right now so these were I think $7.99 there so basically I got one half off which is pretty good so I picked up a few things from Target and that should be the end of it I picked up two of the NYX duo duo chromatic illuminating powders so I got twilight tint give you guys a swatch of these It's a little powdery probably just got too much so that is the twilight tint it's really pretty a bluish reflective like a baby blue reflective hopefully you guys can see that okay I also got a lavender steel I won't get so much this time and then we'll put that right there well it's kind of showing up like a light pinky lavender 
So that's lavender steel right here. So I am definitely excited to play with these. Yay! I also picked up the Soap and Glory Peaches and Clean. This is a four in one wash off deep cleansing milk. So this is what that looks like. I think this was what, on sale. I think their Soap and Glory products were 10% off, um, but it was somewhere around $9 that I paid. And it says it has special clogged pore formula with peach and go juice extracts. Oh, it smells so good too. I love peaches. I love the smell of peaches. And I have two more things to show you and then I swear I'm done. I found these at Target as well. They're called Da Bomb Fun Size Fizzers. So they're made by a pair of teenage sisterpreneurs. Well, that's a little cheesy, but whatever. Um, but they're handmade in the USA, and I guess you can find them on Instagram at Da Bomb Fizzers. Is what it's called. D A Bomb. Um, so yeah, and they're basically, this says cake bomb, it says almond buttercream bath fizzer with a surprise inside. I don't know what the surprise is, but that's what it looks like. And then I got party bomb, which is a pineapple bath fizzer with a surprise inside as well. That's what that one looks like. But I'm really excited to try these. These were $4.99. I've been avoiding going to Lush because as much as I love Lush baths, eight or nine dollars for a single bath kind of bugs me um if I was like rolling in the dough I'd go like buy 30 of them um but you know that's a little high so I thought $4.99 if they're great that's fantastic and if not I haven't wasted too much money on it so I will have to let you guys know what I get out of these because I have no idea what's inside of them. Thank you guys for watching my haul. I am doing three in-depth videos so far that I know of. I'm doing the lip liners, I'm doing the cat suits, and I'm doing the foundations all from Wet n Wild. If you would like any specific videos, I could do a specific video on the NYX Duo Chromatic if you guys are interested in seeing those. Um, maybe applying them, using them, kind of that kind of thing, giving a review. Um, I'd love to do a video about the Milani as well, but anything at all that you want to see more about, let me know and I'll be glad to make a video for you. So thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Make sure to like if you did enjoy any of this video and make sure to subscribe to become a part of my little family. It means so much to me. So thank you guys so, so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.